Hello, hello, welcome. I am Jennifer and you're watching Scrapbooks and Memories. Thank you for joining me today in episode two of my new open collaboration, Journaling Memories, where I post every other Wednesday something to do with journaling um, for junk journals, regular journals, creative journals, however you like to journal. And eventually I'm going to be putting together a journal and putting all these little bits that I make somewhere into that journal along with photos and other fun little memories. So if you'd like to join me in, on that journey, all you have to do is use the hashtag journaling memories in your video and tag me in your video and just make something that has to do with journaling. I'd love to see what you all create. I love getting inspiration from others and spreading inspiration to others. So what I made today is I used some ephemera pieces, some poetry. This one is from Heinrich Hein, 1825. Dancing in the Rain. I got this one from an old um, Shel Sil Shel Silverstein um, book. Which one was that? I think it was The Sidewalk Up, that one was called. And so I took a bunch of different, I love poetry. I've been writing poetry since I was a kid. That was one of my first, first loves, first passions was writing poetry. So in my journal, I wanted to take some poems that I loved from others and fill them in my journals. I think these came out so cute. And I just used ephemera and um, book cutouts. And the idea, I was making tucks and um, like cards. I was thinking these could go, like here's a little tuck. It's just an ephemera card. And I added some ferns and a butterfly so I thought maybe in my journal I'd glue this down to the page just here 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 and then have it as a little pull out tuck I thought that would be really cute and then also I made one of these to be like a pocket or a tuck I was thinking maybe something like this to where you glue down just these two sides and it leaves it open as a tuck right here that would be super cute and then I made this one this is also magazine cuttings and books I love that blue in the back so just another little pocket tuck or you could just glue these down as like a page focal point so many fun things you could do with those. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I did to make these. So here is just some fussy cut images. I added a little book. I have some of those. I have some of these. Fussy cut all these out this weekend or over the weekend. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use that one. And just glue, oh, my glue stuck. Oh, that's still, oh, there we go. Come on. I lost my cap, so now my glue's all dried up probably in the nozzle. Just put that right in the middle. Just thinking maybe the hummingbird would be perfect right there. Wish I had my stick glue for this, probably work better. I let my daughter borrow my stick glue. So that's probably in her room somewhere. Here we go this way. And it's okay if it goes off a little bit. Add to the design, and let's put some little flowers. If I can get the glue 
believe it'll come out. I love how these cut out perfectly in like little clusters too. I get that. Oh, that would be perfect. So I have that one right there. That's beautiful, just like that. I think maybe you might add a little vintage photo. If you like that vintagey, old timey, dirty feeling. I've inked up the rest of them, so I figured I'd go ahead and ink this one. It's so cute. Down. And there you go. A simple but beautiful little journal card with some poetry on it. So fun. So I hope you gained a little bit of inspiration from today's projects. And, you know, get creative and use what you love and use what you have around you to create things to go into your journals. So until I see you next time. Bye.